Stop. Wait a minute. Let me put some boom in it. Hey, man, don't do. <laughs> hey, shout out, man. Shout out to our sponsor, Coldest Water. Man, you know what I'm saying? Let's show, show them what you got. Show them the goodness. You see that? You that, All right, that, guys. that peach mango over there? Let's see. Hand up the box. Whoa, bro. Look at that. This is so cool. We love, you know, if we're not short, we are no short of coldest water. We love coldest water, keeping our water cold. If I want some cold, cold water, I use my coldest water. Every time I try to put it in my little plastic jug, it never works. I always have to put it in this if I want it ice cold. You That's hear me? Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, and also, man, if you put in code CS in the referral link below, it will give you 10% off your order, man. Who don't like a discount? I love I forgot a discount. that it's engraved, guys. Oh, engraved oh yeah. Yes. Show, what is it showing the back? What is it? Like? and Snuffle. Shout out. Love Sorry it. for the light. The light throwing up with it. This is and... a peach color, too, by the you way. You can get them. You can get yours engraved and say whatever your name is. You know what I'm saying? Love it. Thanks, Coldest Water. I love it. Appreciate y'all. Damn. Yeah. Bye. Back. Back with another freaking video. Back with another freaking video. I'll bring another one's trick. One one's trip. Yeah, once when you some real yeah, ones, man. Hey, and that's just, that's literal. You know what I'm saying? You feel Bring it. them on in. What's going Bring on, guys? Hey, so, so glad listen. I'm back. You know what it is. Mouth is healing. It's almost there. December. The bottoms will be tight. Let's go. What you got to say? December. <laughs> Do you remember? Don't hate. Don't hate. Hey, let's get it, man. You already know, man. We've been lit. Having the kind, the candles on pumping off, man, and um, we so we love it for the. But the, I was gonna say, you know, I honestly, ma'am. I'm really liking Candace Owens more the more and more I listen to her. I had a right. skewed perspective both, both. of her, Me too. you know, especially <clears throat> from the last election, but not really just diving in and researching and doing things for myself, listening and, and actually checking out her content and really seeing what she's actually talking about. Absolutely. When I, when I reacted to the revolt um, conference and hearing her point of views on this revolt conference, at first, I was a little skewed, but then when I went back to listen, I was able to say, okay, she's making some good points here. So I, I really, you know, I want to dive in more and listen to hear exactly what her arguments are, are about and what she, you know, really truly stand for as a conservative. Okay. Well, let's get let's it. Let's go. I got it right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! We on. need some incense. Like, what is that? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm a boo. I can't breathe. <laughs> I was like, "What is that noise?" Oh my gosh! What? My gosh! No, shit! No stinking butt! What have you been eating? Jeez! I can't breathe, y'all. I really can't. I'm serious. Maybe it'll help the speech you don't a little need, bit. Don't want whatever that was you had, okay? Jesse may gonna be here with you the next video because I can't take y'all had a fart contest. It's just your falafels you get. I, I can't. Oh, my parties. That's, that's what it's called. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you and Jesse may can have them. The I, I want you this. You want to keep it there? Yeah. That's I, we. That's you want? All right. I'm gonna let them see the organicness. <laughs> All right. All right. So this is Candace Owens <laughs> debates ashes with the Black Lives Matter activists. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Just like out of respect to the military men that have PTSD, they actually served in the war. You were not actually a slave. I find that to be a bit offensive. Wait, the last wait, thing wait, I want to say. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. The last no, thing I want to say. Not. You absolutely, ridiculous to say that you, you have PTSD. Will not PTSD say that. means and, and a trauma that you suffered, that, that you experienced. I will not allow I just that said to it. ride. You I weren't a slave. You don't have PTSD from slavery. And racist system. Welcome back. I'm very excited oh, about it. already jumped off the mix, and that's absolutely true. You know, that's what, as a culture, we're supposed to be like, you know, I'm oppressed and I'm a race, but, bro, we got so many opportunities to you to be great now, so you can't live on no, that No, you more. can't. It's, it's, I'm sorry. I love her hair, the way she has yeah. her, her look right here. It's cool. Let's go. This panel today is going to be an awesome panel because today I have joining me back, former police officer and author of Beaten Black and Blue, my dear friend, Officer Brandon Tate. Tatum. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Credit where it is due. I always say there's so many people that I disagree with. None of them ever want to come on to my set or meet me. But this person has now been here twice. I've met him twice. He is the chairman and co-founder of the Greater New York Chapter for Black Lives Matter. Welcome, Hawk Newsome. 
She oh, right. Like, she's like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Everything's good. He's like, oh. right. So why be there if you don't want to be there for <laughs> Go. Okay, Hawk, I'm going to start. Because he know he about to get scrutinized. Yeah, yeah. Got, he knows she about to. You got Candace and you got Officer Tatum right yeah. there. So, yeah. Okay, let's go. What you got, lady? I've been going viral, and I want to get into that. I messaged you. I texted you, and I was like, this is awesome, and it's something that we agree on and we're passionate about. But I just want to talk about, I've been covering on the show, just New York in general, because I was born in New York. You know, I was raised in Stamford, Connecticut. My mother graduated from Rye High. So I'm a New Yorker, and looking at what's going on in New York today just seems crazy to me, all, all across the spectrum. So this video popped up on Twitter I want to get to and talk about first and get your guys' opinion. Um, uh, a subway, a woman just starts freaking out about just the ads that are on subways. So let's actually watch her. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. All this gross. That's, yeah. All this gross. I don't know, for kids to be looking at this, is that okay? No, it's not. What, what did it say? Did it say, I, I think it said pansexual. Okay, I didn't see it. Wrong. She Place took it down it quick. Yeah. yeah. This is normalizing. 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 The, the, the next generation. Sensitive. Yeah. I don't know why. No, like no one sees this. Yo. Oh. Okay, I see it. I see what she ripped down now. Yeah, absolutely. That is. I don't is. know what that means. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. But okay, let's keep going. Nice to see you down. Nice to see you It's a body conqueror. That's what the Chinese want. They're trying to body conquer us. The government is against us. And you guys don't see it. So I'll start. I love this video. Obviously, I've been covering extensively how hypersexualized the culture has become. This is just not the same America that I grew up in. And obviously, as someone who grew up, used tr public transportation, buses, subways, seeing this stuff as an ad, like people, their tongues touching and saying pansexual for an ad for OK Cupid. how do you guys feel about it? Well, I think that, you know, I want people to understand that this is not an accident. It's not like somebody accidentally drew that up. You know, people spend billions of dollars in marketing. So yeah, it's a, a strategic money. marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. right. And it is effectively hurting our youth. Mm -hmm. You know, grown-up adults who are participating in this, they may understand how to deal with the images that they see. But young kids are not able to process this properly. However, I do believe that it's targeted to get young people's minds, um, you know, conditioned. So when they do get older, they're more susceptible to, to buying into what this advertisement is showing. Right. What Wait. So let's, 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 I'm curious. So check this out, check this out. I'm curious to know. Um, what your, what, what your thinking on that? Because I'm, that, that is too much. That's too much, man. And it's just like, so let's, so what I have a problem with, this is what I have a problem with. And you know this, I have a problem that you can overly sexualize stuff or a particular group can overly sexualize and be okay. But let you were to put on there and talk about Jesus on the thing. They wouldn't even had it. Talk about God. You wouldn't even, he wouldn't be allowed. You have people going crazy on that. Of course. Of course. That oh uh, that that's it ain't it, man. Keep your keep the sexualization should be between the, the person in that household. It shouldn't be have to be plastered where like it's okay. That's not okay. No, that's part of the, mar like you said, that's part of the uh, marketing scheme. But I was going to say part of the influence, part of the sub subliminal, subliminal messaging, messaging. Yeah. that's being implanted in the subconscious brains yeah. of individuals yeah. that see that. Kids as well. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That's all part of it. I agree. Thank you. I just can't really understand why people can't let others live and let live. Bruh, I, are you... Are you, what? I mean, okay. So if this would, this would be. Let's a, finish here. What he got to say? Uh, okay. In my Bible, it says that God should judge people, and we should not. I believe it says something like, "Judge not, lest ye be judged." And let. But do you know the rest of the context? Read the rest of the context, and it'll answer. You don't have to say that. You answer. It'll answer your question. Read the rest of the context. God came down and gave, ordained people with the power to judge all gay people, then we should still be staying true that to that That wasn't gay. No. I don't care if it's two straight people and their tongues are interlocking okay. on the subject. Exactly. The whole sexualization of it is too much. 
way, I would have a problem with it. So I, let's not make this a gay thing. It's not about being gay. It's like, you know, this, I'm talking about sexualization, right? So two tongues touching. Let's pretend it was a man and a female. Yeah. And they were both straight. I saw a problem with it. You're saying you think it's fine. Well, it's, it's, it's people kissing. As you know, the, the more we progress as a society, thing, the, the, the restraints get looser, right? The further we move away from God, the more it opens up the world to do whatever it pleases, right? So I can't necessarily say that That's this true. is wrong. I can't say this is wrong. People kiss on TV every day. People kiss everywhere all the time, but now it's wrong. Why, why do you have a problem with it? Because I think it's disgusting for children to see two tongues of adults touching in a subway, and I am raising a child, and I would never want to walk somewhere. And again, don't care if you're black, white, straight, trans, uh, pansexual, I don't even know what half of these terms even mean anymore. I don't want to see it, okay? And that's not kissing. Two tongues, that, that is not kissing, right? That's not, that is something else that's happening there, yeah. right? It's disgusting. It's, it's meant to be provocative, and it's unnecessary that an advertiser sat down and thought that this was the only way to convey a message when you're talking about OKQ, which is supposed to be a dating app. Like, why, why does it even need to be sexual at all? This is not what the ads looked like when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. I think it's hypocritical because you got the whole world on Tinder. You got the whole world hooking up with people. But now it's not. Now, now you don't want to see it in your face. But we've been seeing it in movies. We've been seeing it on television. Now, all of a sudden, people have a problem with it. OK, if we're going to say this is problematic. Then we need to take a step back and look throughout the decades and say, okay, this is the process. This is how we arrived at this point. We can't just act like this is something new let me, to us. Let me I interject. agree. Let me, let I me. do. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm taking issue with the yeah, let, way society has gone down the drain. Let me interject real quick. Um, let's go back to the Bible, you know, about judging. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible is very clear. You should know them by their fruit. Yes. So the things that are in the Bible doesn't say that you shouldn't judge people. Mm -hmm. You can't condemn a person, mm -hmm. but you can make an evaluation mm -hmm. about what you think is appropriate according to what God's word is. That's, That's right. right. So when you go. That's right. That's I right. Think we, I think so, we're on the same page with saying that these things are not appropriate. It's yeah. fair to say that as a Christian man, as a believer, these are not appropriate. Ne neither are the movies that they're presenting kissing in that are eligible for young people. I'm not talking about rated R movies. I'm not talking about PG-13 movies. You know, I'm talking about ones that are, that are involving children that are uh, rated for younger audiences. When you have kissing and, and sexuality, I think it's inappropriate. So just because they put it out there, just because it's mainstream, doesn't mean that it's not inappropriate. Are we everything that is allowed don't mean, everything that's allowed don't mean everything is permissible. Right, and the thing too is that where do we get our our laws or the way we should govern as human beings from we derived our laws or principles or morals from the bible we do. as how we should govern as human beings and if it was right in the bible then there would be no argument it wouldn't. there would be nothing to discuss so apparently there she, you know, there is some credence to what she's saying because now, and I totally agree with what she says. And I understand what the guy's saying too, yep. you know, from black lives matter, yep. like she says, but I totally agree. It doesn't matter what the um, sexuality of the person is in, in this particular, what their preference is in this choice. You know, if we had a kid, I wouldn't want my kids seeing that. Nope. I surely wouldn't. And yes, they would see you and I hug. They would see you and I kiss, but they wouldn't see, you ain't gonna see me kiss all of like that. that. No, they wouldn't see all that over sexuality and the intimacy and all that. No, that that's left for our bedroom. That brain is underdeveloped and is highly influential of a kid. Yep, I totally agree. Yeah, I totally agree. And I agree. One thing he said, both of them, even the um, the guy, what's his name, the, with the BLM. BLM, he said that the, as things move further away from the Bible, yeah. things start being more permissible, and he is absolutely correct. Yeah. That's what correct. we as society have allowed. Correct. Yeah. Back. Are we back at a place where we are arguing again sex ed in school? Yeah, I think sex like, ed like, is like, are, 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 are we back at that point? Yeah, that's what I'm trying because, to Because, well, to. if you want to go back to that, if we didn't introduce it, then AIDS would have claimed more lives than it did. If we didn't take that's, a that's step back, incorrect. that prove it. I, I'm happy prove to. It. I, I'm happy to. Prove it. So because I, I, if, I'm, if, I'm going because right if you let me talk, sis, yeah, you, let, you, you, like to, you like to spin people, <laughs> I'm unspinnable. I'm okay. 300 pounds. You ain't going to spin this one. Okay. All right? Yeah. If, if you look back, we had to educate people as to what sex was so that we could stop the spread of those sexually transmitted diseases. That's incorrect. 
How so? That's factually incorrect. So, so I'm, I am going to educate you. I don't need to spin you, but I am going to educate Please you. Please do. Okay, so there's a book him, by girl. Thomas Sowell, and he unpacks very carefully how sex education actually, what it's led to is more kids having sex than other. It was predicated on a lie. The entire sex education push was predicated on this belief that high school people, high school students were doing it anyways. They were already having sex, and that was wrong. Actually, before they started the sex ed initiative in the 1970s, the average kid that was graduating high school was graduating with their virginity. After they started the sex ed initiative, within, te within one decade, that radically transform, and now the majority of kids are doing it. Actually, sex education was teaching them about what sex was, and that conversation should have been reserved for their parents in yeah. the birds and the bees discussion. So sex ed has perverted children. Not See, I love, that's why I love it. She got, when you come with facts and not emotion, and it's was, a different game. It is, and that's what I was going to say. One thing I like about her, because I'm high on facts. I'm a fact checker. I do the research. I know what evidence-based research means. I know how to depict and really dig into the research when it comes to population where all that good old stuff but i really that's one thing i think that really you know started wanting me to listen to her more is because she's a fact checker she's yeah. really big on not the what else but you think what your auntie cousin think what what they said on this website none of them i'm i'm talking about solid evidence and from more than one source absolutely yeah multiple sources and reputable sources absolutely i'm sorry absolutely you know, he's saying boo like ain't just a man. She rubbing off on me. <laughs> said what? She, she rubbing off. I'm saying boo. That's her word. She like to say boo boo. <laughs> that ain't what snapper say. <laughs>